Hi everybody. Um, I thought I'd share a little vlog on the products that are in my beauty box. Yay! So I've collaborated with uh, Buy Cosmetics and sorry if it's a funny angle because I'm used to the camera being that side, not there. So it's over there. So if I keep looking in the wrong angle, sorry. Anyway, yeah, I've collaborated with Buy Cosmetics because I'm, red car I'm just red carpet obsessed. Um, I don't know if you saw, but I was... Um, Golden Globes with a yeah look there's me and Prince Cassius I love the red carpet so <clears throat> and Kevin my GBF yeah so that's like a classic look for the red carpets I love the red lip black eyeliner it's classic it always works um so we brought out a box that we thought would work and the thing is the seven products that should be about 60 quid but they're only 15 so i must say i am loving more than anything the foundation which is really cool so these are the products that you'll get in the box this is a foundation and powder so yeah so we've got, um, it's a base duo kit, moisturising foundation with SPF 15 and pressed powder. So there's that, and it's obviously got a mirror. So now, I've got to say, I do carry this around everywhere, because it is quite compact, and obviously you've got both your powder and your moisturising foundation, which is essential when you're out and about. Perfectly coloured red nail varnish bright red and I think that's a perfect colour to go for if you're on the red carpet obviously if you're going for a completely different colour palette like nudes or whatever then uh, maybe not but or for me red lip red nail perfect now this is actually about paint that we've got in our beauty box it's a slightly off red it's got a bit of an orange tinge in it it's called lava and I absolutely love it. Wait, I've got nothing on my face at the moment. So you'll see for yourself what you think of the products. Then we've got an eye brightener, which is essential if you want to look red carpet ready and get flawless eyes. We don't want circles. We don't want black circles when we're being photographed or out on a night out or anything. No, that's not a good look. And of course, all of us girls love a nice plump lip. So we've got a lip plumper in there. Can you see it? Is that the wrong way around? Yep, <laughs> I think it's the wrong way around. And of course, we've got a, again, sleek makeup mascara. It's just a black mascara, but again, if you look at the brush, it gives really good coverage. And then there's a black eyeliner. So let me, black eyeliner. Let's just start from scratch. And obviously, I'm not gonna be looking in this direction. So I'm just using, the brushes that I usually use um, to, this is my uh, Vintage Cosmetics brush that I use for foundation. And I'm just gonna, and I always think that, you know, when you're um, using a foundation, it is always best to go for a shade slightly lighter than your skin, never go for a shade darker. That is not a good look. As you can see, my eyebrows are quite dark because I just had them tinted yesterday because tint doesn't last very long on me. So um, I always tend to go for them a bit darker. Actually, I'm gonna do it in my little mirror, if you don't mind. You can see me. So straight away, you can see that the coverage and it's really, it looks really, you know, quite heavy, but it's super, it is super light and I love the way it's giving me full coverage. So this is a moisturising part of the compact. As you can see, what you want when you're on the red carpet, obviously we're not, we're not all going to be going on the red carpet, but the idea is to get the red carpet look. To get that red carpet look, what you want is a lovely sort of glow and a natural look you don't want to be heavily tanned obviously if you love your tan then just go for a slightly lighter foundation but do a bronzer um, right so I've pretty much covered my entire face with the foundation and as you can see look at the really lovely coverage it's just really dewy 
and just you no, know, it's just got that lovely dewy coverage to it so let's just um get to all of the little corners of my face and then i'll put a bit of the powder on but i want to use this eye brightener because it is really lovely okay i tend to cover my lips as well just because i think that if you've got a base on your lips it holds your lippy better okay so look it's a really nice coverage it is not heavy that's the worst thing you don't want a really heavy um, foundation that's then gonna lay in any lines or wrinkles that you've got you want a light moisturizing one and if you can see it's just giving me a nice glow and don't forget I'm not putting any highlighter on or anything this is just the foundation and then I'm gonna use the eye brightener that we've got in the kit Squeeze some of that out. I tend to do minimal first because you don't want to overdo it. And again, with the eye area, <clears throat> it's always good to go slightly. I know some people like using brushes or sponges, but around the eyes, I personally like just using my fingers to get right. And again, it's just really, it's giving me great coverage, but it just feels light on the skin, which is great. Because especially if you're on a night out, you do not want to start sweating. And then your makeup just be like, oh, pouring off your face. Okay. There we go. As you can see, that's a really nice coverage. A bit of powder. From the powder. Perfect. Lip tin. Okay. Love this. Wait till you see the colour of this. This is great. Like I said, it's got a bit of an orange tint to it, and I love it. That is just ready for your night out. That's gone straight away for a fab nighttime look. You can obviously use a lip plumper on top, and then. All you need now is a little bit of the eyeliner. So, two seconds. This might be a bit difficult. Let me just put that there. Okay. And then. Just a bit of a flick in the corners there. And then all we need now is just a little bit of the mascara. Well, I've got lashes, so I can only put a bit on the bottom lashes. I don't wear mascara on my fake lashes. And we are good to go for a night out. So that's my beauty box. Hope you love it. And please do get buying them because this stock's really short. It's only, um, this is a limited edition. So thanks everybody.